Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's PvP guide. Today we'll be taking something a little bit different and having a quick recap of the roles of a tournament team and providing you with a series of links to some of our previous content from Season 1 which will dive a little bit more in depth in each of the roles. If you have seen this previous content before, I am sorry there's going to be nothing new for you in this episode. Uh, don't forget to check back on Friday though because the reason we're covering this is that we want to basically go more in depth and we want to talk a bit more in depth in our advanced guide. So we're going to cover it here so we can get this out of the way so people understand what we're talking about. So the first role I will look at is near point control. This role requires a player to defend the node nearest your spawn. The links we have for this are to a ranger build which since the video was created has become plenty stronger due to some changes to the way spirits work. There are a number of different viable builds for the near point defending and in the second link we have an episode which looks at how to create a build like this as well as a series of different tips and tactics. The role of a near point defender is to provide the backbone to your team, constantly securing the points on the board. It's not one of the most glamorous roles but it's required to secure your team victory and you can take pleasure in the knowledge that every fight you have really counts. The second role is that of a midpoint defender and for this we have a link to a guardian build and gameplay analysis. Midpoint defence provides your team with those points that really earn you the victory. You need to be able to keep yourself alive as well as to support your teammates in assisting you in those team fights. The midpoint defender is the front line and must make sure no one gets past him. Also linked below is an episode looking at how you can create a midpoint defender build of your own and some useful tricks to give you an edge on the battlefield. Next up we have the Roma and this is the role for those who like to be everywhere at once and racking up the kills. For this we have a warrior video looking at a fantastic build as well as the usual second video getting in depth on how to roam. Roaming is all the guts and all the glory. You must be everywhere you're needed as soon as you're needed and be ready to smoke anyone in your way. Speed and damage are the Roma's best friends. Lastly, the final role is Farpoint Attacking, a role that not all teams include but should always be noted as the Farpoint Attacking is all about keeping the pressure on the enemy. The links for this we have a Smoke and Stealth Thief build which works by blinding and interrupting to mitigate damage as well as calling in NPC thieves to dish out the pain. We also have a video looking at tactics of a Farpoint Attacker and how you can create one of your own. So I know there isn't much new stuff in this episode but for those new viewers it's important to cover the basics of roles as we reference them a lot as well as provide the links to the previous content for those that want to know more. This coming Friday however we will be having some new content as we take a look at the Temple of the Silent Storm map and we're going to discuss some strategy that you will need to have a knowledge of roles to really understand with. But for now I hope you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and leave us some feedback below, thank you all very much.